What's up, everybody? Today on Tools in Action, we're talking about the Echo, Eco, Echo. What? How do echo. you pronounce it? Echo. Echo, like Echo, Echo, Echo. Really? That's how All I right. pronounce it. Echo Timberwolf chainsaw. This chainsaw it's is CS five ninety. CS five ninety, but they call it the Timberwolf. But they do. Uh, it's basically set to take on the Husqvarna four fifty five Rancher and that we actually reviewed, and, and the, the steel. The steel what? I don't know, the steel. Farm hand or something. I think they call them ranch hands or farm. No, no. The ranchers, the Husqvarna. Now, steel and Husqvarna, you guys, are top chainsaw makers. They are the top. It's a hit between, you know, some people like steel, some people like Husqvarna, you know? Husqvarna. Husqvarna. It's not Husqvarna. It's Husqvarna. It's Husqvarna. It's Husqvarna. I pronounce it Husqvarna. Husqvarna. I say Husqvarna. It's Husqvarna. But. Uh, anyways, so those are the top ones. But now Echo, I mean, you know, they've been known. You see them in Home Depot. Professionals do use Echo, though. Oh yeah. Um, but you now they've come along to say, hey, for better for better money, we're gonna take on the 455 Rancher and the steel. We're gonna give you more power, better unit for less money. For less money. How about that? And everybody likes that. But did they do it? Did they do it? That is the question we that will answer question. here today. So basically, uh, a couple features that we do like about it are what? First of all, it comes with a five-year consumer warranty, a one-year uh, commercial warranty. Commercial warranty. Thank that you. means if you're a pro and you're a landscaper and you buy this thing at Home Depot, you got one year. You know, and they can tell when you bring it back and the thing looks like it's like it's white from all the faded sun. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the wear is just crazy, and they know you've used it every day for a year. They're going to know it's a commercial warranty. Uh, you know, but they'll take care of you, I'm pretty sure. I've never had to deal with an Echo warranty or anything I like that. I never have either. And did you know that Echo invented the blower? No, I did not know that. Yeah, if you look wow. it up, I saw it on Modern Marvels on YouTube. Basically, uh, they started out with something else. I want to say a weed whip or something, and it turned, or sprayer, something with a sprayer, and then it turned into the backpack blower. But it wasn't, whatever product they were building, the weed whip or whatever, yeah. the guys out in the landscapers out in California were turning them into blowers. Oh, wow, okay. So Husqvarna's like, wow, or not Husqvarna, uh, Echo's like, wow, we should, you know, maybe build a blower. And they built the first backpack blower, Echo. I never knew that. Who right. says you need to watch Marvel and Marvels when you got uh, Tools in Action right here? <laughs> tools and Marvels. Tools and Marvels. Uh, it's got a compression switch right here for easier starts. It does have some power, you guys. I have used it out here. Uh, we took it out to the port, had them cut some stuff up. Same thing, it's got power. One thing I really like about it though. What's and that? I, I, it's the first chainsaw that's ever done this. It doesn't leak. Uh, Every chainsaw I've ever owned leaks that I disagree the oil. With. That I disagree with. What? It leaks. Oh, it leaks? Oh yeah. You've had it leak? Yeah, why do you think I brought it here in a garbage bag when it was sitting in the back of my truck? Oh, you serious? Yeah. Oh, it does leak. Yep. Oh, that's right, because you've had it. I haven't yeah. been having it. No, there's no leaks right, out so there. So it's leaks oil. So, and you guys, the reason that chainsaws do leak oil is not that they're... Yeah, they're just... Uh, yeah. yeah, it's the design of it. It's just the way the gravity fed or however it's fed onto the bar, that part just tends to leak. And, you know, Husqvarna, Steels, they've all done it. Um, so I take that back. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, vibration system right here, you guys. So when you're working with the tool, with the saw, the vibrations are going to be, you know, taken out by the spring. So hopefully it's going to be good for you guys that are using it commercially. Real aggressive little saw. I like it a lot. So do you think it competes against the Husqvarna? Yeah, still, for it, power. You think it takes them down? I don't know that it takes them down, you guys, only because, you know, Husqvarna and Steel are long-term names, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. they've been around for many years. They're German and Swedish and, you know, I mean, Echo's an American company. They're here in Lake Zurich. Yeah. You know? Right uh, down the road. Right. So, I mean, there's a lot of, st I don't want to say stigma, but, I mean, that's an elite league, you know? That's like Surefire and Streamlight, you know? Mm -hmm. And, like, maybe uh, Dorsey going up yeah. against them, you know? It's hard, it's tough. Now, for the value perspective, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. From yeah, right definitely. now, everything, the way everything looks, it looks like a great deal. I would buy it probably. If I'm on a budget especially, this is the one I'm gonna go for. Now, ask me that in five years. Okay, I will. But, well. <laughs> oh, you mean like, okay, No, I but then you, again, yeah. I don't use it that much, you know? Um, so, we'll find out. We'll let you know as we use it over time and just see what happens. We're going to keep it as the in-house chainsaw. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Because this thing's got a lot of hype behind it. I want to see how it runs long term. 
Yeah. All right. So tools in action. Don't forget to check it out. We're gonna wrap it up here, but we're gonna show you some inactions to f close it out. And that's so, what you need to say. Nope. Get ready to. Let's show it. All right. Let's show. Ooh, let's show it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>